Hi everyone, welcome in the new episode of Stephen's Week. I'm this week in Dublin, but happy to follow the news for you here in Dublin. Let's get back or get right into the action, I mean. First news uh, item this week is that Meerkat is dropping out of the live streaming fight and battle. Uh, Meerkat was actually the first one who really got into the space, but lost it uh, because of the giants. You know, Twitter bought Periscope, Facebook is really into live streaming right now. Snapchat, of course, is really big on that. And Meerkat was the first one, but they lost the battle. And they're changing now into a video social platform. We don't really know what that will be, but Meerkat is probably going to have a tough battle in the next few months and years. A uh, fun fact about virtual reality, um, Six Flags is now working together with uh, Oculus to find out how they can use virtual reality headsets in roller coasters. There was this great article this week in Fast Company that was talking about earables, and they're saying that the next big thing in tech will be in your ear. Um, it's about wireless earphones and that allow you to do a lot of things. Talk with your device, for instance, and you see, you know, it's like in the movie Her, but then now coming closer to us, you already hear rumors that in the next iPhone, we won't have this little mini jack anymore to connect our earplugs to the phone, but that it will be wireless. So I'm very much looking forward to see all these earables in the near future. Amazon is trying out something new. Uh, as of this week, they're starting with live shows fashion shows and fashion, some sort of TV format actually, and they're gonna do it weekly online. And the trick is that you will be able to buy directly from that show and make sure that you get all that nice piece of fashion in your mailbox by the next day. In China, Minority Report is becoming real. Uh, the Chinese government is developing some sort of an online score for every Chinese individual um, to make them, you know, to, to evaluate them, to see if they are behaving or non-behaving according to the Chinese regime. Um, and they claim that by doing so, they will be able to prevent crime and act preemptive uh, on crime so that they can avoid crimes before they actually happen. Minority report in real life, my friends. Impressive news by Amazon. These guys have leased a fleet of Boeings this week, uh, about 20 Boeings, and the goal is to take their own logistics process completely in their own hands and speed up delivery time. So they're really serious about this investment in, uh, in their own fleet of planes. Amazing. DeepMind strikes again. This week, for the first time in human history, DeepMind, the deep learning engine from Google, has won in the uh, very complex board game Go from the best human in the world. And experts thought that this would take at least 10 more years before DeepMind would be smart enough to win in this game from a human. Well, it was this week that it happened. So guys, this was uh, my week again, filled with tech, customer service and uh, marketing updates. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will share it. I hope you will subscribe to the channel. And I really, really hope that you're going to have a fantastic weekend, my friends. See you next week. Bye bye.